Look at this example. A banker auditor claims that the credit card balances are normally distributed with a mean of $2,870 and a standard deviation of $900. So based on this data set, I can summarize mu equal to $2,870 and then sigma equal to 900 here. Now, look at A. What is the probability the randomly selected credit card holder has a credit card balance less than 2500 So, if you look at A, there's no sample size are given, right? Which means this is just a regular normal distribution. So, we can just say that probability X is less than 2500 now we switch normal distribution to the standard normal di distribution then x must be converted to z-score but x always must be converted to z-score then what was the z-score formula z equal to x minus u over sigma right so now we follow exactly same sign this one that become 2500 minus mean 2870 over 900 which is sigma value if you calculate you will get probability z is less than negative point 41 okay so just go to z table negative point 41 so negative 0.41 which is right here which is 0.3409 okay so 0.3409 so that based on this analysis uh, a answer so 34 point like a 1% percent uh, 10% maybe people has credit card balance less than 2500 then think about B here it shows that you randomly select 25 credit card holder okay which means you are selecting some sample size here so it becomes sampling distribution so B case n size given which is 25 so now we can say that that represent sampling distribution so we need to determine new mu which means a mean value and new sigma so mu x will be we always fix the mean value so same as 2a70 and then sigma x will be 900 over root 25 which is one eighty. okay so let's go back to our question again so what is the probability their mean credit card balance is less than 2500 so we just do same step probability uh, x bar is less than 2500 the reason I indicate x bar because uh, this is the sampling mean distribution as I told you we try to get um, sampling mean of the samples right so it becomes probability x bar with z so z is less than 2500 minus 2a70 over 180 before it was 900 right but now it is 180 because um, we took sample so sigma value must be adjusted based on our sampling data that's why we got new sigma value which is 180 if you calculate you get 
probability this less than negative 2.06 okay so go to z table then negative 2.06 which is like a point zero one nine seven point zero one ninety seven here that's the answer for b now look at the question c compare the probabilities from a and b and interpret your answer in terms of the uh, auditor's claim okay so from the a answer we got the probability value 0 0.3409 but after, after sampling distribution we got 0 0.0197 so i just draw some uh, distribution graph so in so that you can understand a little better so before the population data looks like this and this is our mean value here okay and now at this population case our z-score was negative 0.41 which is around here So after finding area of this um, distribution area value, it becomes 0 0.3409. Okay, so this is 0 0.3409. Okay. Now, after sampling distribu distribution, the graph shape become a little bit different here. So, somehow like this. Okay. Then, even though, even though this same line here, your test data exists, but reflect Z score is much more left side compared to original on this blue distribution data so uh, after sampling distribution the corresponding this z score will be negative 2.06 okay uh, now 2.06 which means the distribution area value which is until this here basically okay so now before it was 34.10 percent of data exists um, when x is less than 2500 but after sampling only uh, one point or two point actually two point percent of data exists in this area it means after we do sampling distribu distribution all this data all this data becomes belong here basically so I will indicate a little more clearly the data above the sampling distribution line there will be the outlier basically Okay, which means we neglect those data and we focus on the data based on the sample mean. Okay, that's what they mean. 